Hi right, guys. Well, it is a lovely summer evening. It is a lovely midsummer evening here in the collapse of everything. It is just an average average Tuesday night as I spill my margarita all over my dying computer. It is just an average Tuesday night on the planet. That would be Tuesday night, July 23rd, 2024. So anyway, guys, I honestly thought <clears throat> I was not going to do a chronicle of the collapse today. I, I, I was taking the day off, you know, working on my porch, and uh, uh, I, I just put a cobbler, a fresh blackberry cobbler in the oven, poured me a drink, came out here. You coming or not? came out here to the porch to sit here and, you know, just enjoy my margarita for the end times uh, on this average Tuesday night and opened up the comments to, uh, here on Collapse Chronicles, this went on the Collapse Chronicles mailbag <clears throat> where I have stumbled upon the single greatest, the single greatest, most spot-on comment I have ever encountered on any video I have ever made on any channel. Uh, I have been down here in the Doomosphere for since 2010, for 14, 15 years. In various iterations, I have been, uh, <clears throat> you know, thousands and thousands of videos I have made. I've probably read 100,000 comments, and out of nowhere, out of the blue, I guess, out of uh, Southeast Australia, <clears throat> a fellow going by the name of Ray Stevens. Ray Stevens has, has in, encapsulated in one comment everything I have been trying to say to you for uh, 15 years on YouTube. And, and Andy the Gardener, uh, you know, Andy the Gardener, I love you, brother, but you have been dethroned. Andy the Gardener, has been tumbled out of his throne. Uh, I thought Andy the Gardener was the big kahuna of doom, but uh, Ray Stevens has now uh, has now taken the crown. But before, just uh, this is uh, what Ray was commenting on to uh, refresh your memory. A couple of days ago, <clears throat> uh, I shared this quote that uh, Rob Milkarski from Undenial shared <clears throat> with, with his readers. And what this was, was a line from uh, this movie, I think on Netflix, it's called Leave the World Behind. If you have not seen Leave the World Behind... <clears throat> go on Netflix and find it. But anyway, this, I'm going to read that comment over again just so you have some basis what uh, Ray Stevens is extrapolating upon. <clears throat> so I don't know the script writer, but anyway, if you missed that, that video, this was the comment from Leave the World Behind. <clears throat> we, meaning humans, we fuck each other over all the time without even realizing it. We fuck over every living thing on this planet and think it will be fine because we use paper straws and order the free-range chicken. And the sick thing is, I think deep down we know we're not fooling anyone. I think we know we're living a lie, an agreed-upon mass delusion 
to help us ignore and keep ignoring how awful we really are. Yes, and so uh, this is Ray Stevens coming out of nowhere. Never heard of this man. Uh, and this is his response to that comment. <clears throat> Picking up and taking off. Take it away, Ray Stevens, with the single greatest comment I have ever read in my entire life in the Doomosphere. <clears throat> I agree, and this cut and paste mail sent to a few alleged leaders indicates how much. I am an Earth man. I am an Earth man, mate, and I have lived in Southeast Australia since 1957. I divorced myself from capitalist consumerism many decades ago, had myself sterilized before having any kids, and consider this the smartest decision I ever made. <clears throat> no kids, no wife, no car, no credit card, no passport, no money, and no other human being had to be kept awake worrying whether my other choices were going to put me in a hospital, a prison, or compost. It was learning of the extinct creatures due to human behavior, greed, stupidity, indifference, the bloody-mindedness which is evident in our history. Check out the history of colonialism in Africa, all of America, North, South, and Central, in Australia, New Zealand, and throughout Asia, and we humans are a mob of cruel assholes. The flags of any one of our nations is not fit to wipe the skid of our bums paying taxes on living back to the environment with our shit. I was 10 years old in 1967 when I decided that I was going to be spayed like the family cat, and I only had to wait until my balls had dropped. <clears throat> Don't dream the grass is any greener over the oceans, my friend. It is not. This world has lost more than thylacine, passenger pigeon, great auk, stellar sea cow, and more than 70% of Earth's wildlife has been erased from our planet since 1975. <clears throat> we are going to hell in a handbasket, dragging the innocent flora and fauna and our own very young and unborn into the cesspit of our greedy, desperately insatiable, pathologically suicidal and stupid fucked up minds beyond the stoned caterpillar and down the rabbit hole for all the things we believe are missing, but were inside us all the time from the moment we yelled the first time. <clears throat> so we dive into the sewers of our own shame, searching for diamonds and gold in our turds, and this thick as two short planks, glorified gorilla, we who often lack the decency and dignity of the other apes, and call rats dirty, even though it is our dirt they carry. This world has just about lost me too, so that it would be nothing good if ever I were asked to provide a character witness prejudgment. You are all damned for treating our feathered and furred brethren as we would not accept the same treatment upon 
ourselves <clears throat> debt payment is extracted via increase in the pace of manifestation in entropy as life leaks away like methane from a fracking operation. <clears throat> there is no denial of responsibility for blood on your hands just because you get someone else to do the butchery and that this butchery industrialized like a Nazi death camp only makes it evil a million times worse. I survive for my mother, 95 years old, and my cat, and perchance to provide some part of evolution upward from fang and talon butchery of flesh making burgers of endangered life and burning the quality of life with jet travel and cybernetic electric heat and driving between home and the booze venue five minute walk away. I donate to NGOs like Greenpeace and World Wildlife Fund because it is other species than mine I love and wish to support. My own species are high maintenance spoiled brats already having already have too damned much, live so long we are unsustainable and need about six earths each year so that everyone can be a greedy daft fat moron like King Donald Trump and not quite as fat or stupid, but equally as greedy and megalomaniacal Tsar Vladimir Putin. <clears throat> I do not donate anything remotely to people in case they buy a freaking gun or when moneyless beat up their wife or kids because it is always someone else's fault that they are unhappy. Such is the mark of the shithead. The greatest service Trump and Putin, Z, Netanyahu, or any other nameless spawn of another fuckwit with the same DNA and red blood as I, their greatest service will be to fuck off and die. Sorry, no coffee, and I have spat my chips. No one is worth the effort to throw any rocks at, and I find my religion with my sense of humor. Laugh at the psycho eight billion I am stuck with and dream of civil evolution via Star Trek, Pink Floyd, Monty Python, and not just a little bit, but not more than enough. Because a heavy habit is too damned expensive of substance made as right hand molecules matching the left hand amino acids which make my liver and other proteins to flesh which currently sustains the microscopic biome which provides me with life until I stop feeding them and then they will invite in some friends and banquet upon me. Life is a laugh. The life of Brian, a door to perception. Aldous Huxley died too soon to know. You are all fucking clowns who take their sh own shit as either chocolate or clay. Who knows? And life is equally too bloody short and too damned long. P.S. Thank you. Please return to doing what you do if you cannot call in IT to save us pricks from ourselves. And if you can, why delay? Are you trying to torture us? <laughs> uh, um. 
Amen, brother. Ray Stevens, uh, that was a mouthful. And Ray Stevens, I have no clue who you are, brother, but I am extending uh, the invitation to be uh, interviewed here at Collapse Chronicles. I will... Uh, I, I I will gladly pull out of my uh, uh, my indifference uh, to find out who the hell is this dude and where the hell have you been? Uh, but welcome uh, to the Doomosphere. Truly, it is truly an honor, brother, to have you aboard. Uh, uh, I anyway, I, I, I truly am honored uh, by that comment. I, I am completely amazed that that comment uh, survived the uh, YouTube cop bots. Uh, <laughs> my guess, uh, the reason that comment survived is something like, you know, when Terrence McKenna you know, was asked why he had never been arrested for uh, his subversive thoughts. He said, they don't understand big words is why. <laughs> they don't understand big words is why uh, Terrence McKenna. But uh, Ray Stevens, I hope you will be a regular contributor uh, to Collapse Chronicles, but my guess is the YouTube bots are going to be on your ass real quick. But I'm glad this one got through. And anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and get back to my margarita and enjoy this beautiful summer evening <clears throat> while I still can. Bye, guys.